It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And our focus goes to Jalen Johnson. Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, we've got a good Week 5 matchup in store here between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and our own team. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, you look at this Saints team as they interplay. It's been all systems go in this first month. They're off to a 4-0 start. And it's got folks believing that this is a team that's built to go all the way. You can't win the Super Bowl in September, but they're telling everyone that they're going to be there in the end. On the other side of the field for the visiting Bucs, we're in October now, so everything, everybody should be coming into form, shouldn't they? They really should. And what you have now is a full routine established about what you want to get done and full focus on the season. just starting training camp but here we are in October and off we go on EA Sports and we will not get a run back here to start it's a touchback and it will come out to the 25 so out come the Bucks now for their first drive They'll be led out by their quarterback, a product of NC State. It's Jacoby Brissett. He had the numbers of the game last week that if you win, you talk about him being a gritty guy, managing the game, getting it done. But they lost. So obviously, two interceptions, one touchdown pass, that's not going to be good enough. Got to get that changed around. Brissett going to go to the air right away. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. From the gun, here's Bissad. Got his man, it's Bo Melton. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 14 yards there, and a Buccaneer first down. Now Brissett. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Brissett again. Now this one taken in by Otten. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. It's a gain of 11 and the Bucks have a first down. run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Brissett now. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And the Saints are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. They may have thrown the interception, obviously less than ideal, but I think they also sent a message that they're going to push the ball downfield in this one. Yeah, not afraid to take their shots right away, huh? What was that, like a 9-9-9 nine, nine, nine route? 9 meaning go? Just went ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared. But I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this time. Doesn't mean we won't try it again later. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. 
Well, he did go two and two in the last ball game. Well, actually, he went two, two, and one, with the one being the victory. Yeah. That's the bottom line there. But wasn't it funny at practice? He threw one when we were watching through an interception, and the defense got on him a little bit. Good naturedly, but they're letting him know you got to cut down those interceptions. We can't bail you out all the time. Yeah, two touchdowns, two picks, but as you said, they got the win in that effort last week. Down the numbers. There he goes. touchdown on the year and the Saints use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one well that's how you take advantage of an early turnover a sudden change situation meaning balls turned over how's both sides going to handle it one side handled it way better they were right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone one play that just added insult to injury yeah that just tells you on the defensive side they didn't come out ready to go Still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over. Lutz good on the extra point, and it's now a 7 0 game. So they hit Painter on just one play. The loop on the scamper, and a very nice scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, that's an excellent way to get the pass rush activated. The first sack of the game for them comes on the first play of the drive, and it makes it very tough for the opponent to pick up a first down now, playing behind the sticks. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. On that last play, and that means they need to come up with something here on third down. Brissett. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight yard line. Jalen Phillips, the former first rounder, getting in there for the sack. I remember when I was a kid, and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, a lot for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel so, oh. I, could pay the, so I could pay the proper price. Okay, how much were they a dime? What were they? About 15 cents. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. They've got the 7-0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they at one mind that, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. And the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And that's to Alvin Ross and Brown. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early. And that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive. And now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. And the Buccaneers will take over here at their own 14-yard line. A first down throw for Brissett. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they went standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take one of those throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did. It came through a big time pick 
six. Lux with the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just. Second down coming up. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here's Brissett. And here's another interception, the third of this first quarter. Picked up by Paulson with Debo. And the Saints are going to take possession of the football. I'm not sure that the wheels Charles are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. Now think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you throw this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. Wilkinson. And he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Well, he's taken down, but not before picking up the first, thanks to a flashy little spin move. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. They'll look to throw. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Joe Tryon Shoyinka showcasing the pass rush. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Now a handoff up the middle. Wilkinson, and he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season, and the Saints have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Well, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be his dream to make it with. again in the midst of well let's just say a not so rosy losing streak they've got the open week though coming up next weekend so you have to figure this to be a game that they dearly love to have oh indeed they have to have this one because that's something positive to take with you when you go away for a few days and it actually releases your mind if they lose this one that mind stays cluttered the entire time they're away and they've got to scramble to get back in sync when they start playing again. Hey, feel, 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 feel. On second down, they'll run with White. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Brissett. This is White on the screen. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. 
46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. Fielded at the 20. It's a 47-yard punt, but they did give up 10 on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So here are the Saints to take over. They're working on a four-game winning streak, and they lead this one as well right now as they start first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. It's a gain of 34. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. That one a 14-yard play, and it keeps this drive moving. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. But what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end or the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Touchdown, Saints! Pat Fryer move. A five-yard touchdown. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. We see what a start for them. Still in the first quarter, they're absolutely blitzing them. All the points that they put up. I'm not sure what you say on the other sideline right now. I think it's as simple as this. There's no limits on what this lead could become. What's well, good on the extra point? And the round is on here in this first half. So this not what we expected. 28-0 here in the first as another kickoff is away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much, because you're right. You get the extra rest, you get a chance to heal up and kind of you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now, a little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry a rhythm for essentially two weeks. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll yeah, cover the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Brissett on third and two. They'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. After the penalty, it's four now. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. 
second quarter now, and it's Buccaneer football. Second and 15. On second down, here's Fournette. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up the third down. I don't think anyone thought we'd see a run facing second and now walking, and that element of surprise, I think, helped make that play so successful. Nice effort on that carry, and it took what seemed like second and impossible. Now has him within throwing range of a first down. Third and short yardage, Brissett. It's caught, Smith. And he is going to have a box first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Who sets low on target to Godwin here. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the ten-yard line. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. On first and 10, Brissett, and his throw is going to be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Nick Bosa just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Well, last game, he had two sacks. Got another one here picked up right where he left off. Brandon, he spent the entire offseason working on new moves, new techniques, trying to add to his arsenal of pass rush moves. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Van Jefferson, his first touchdown on the year. And the Buccaneers are able to cut into that deficit. Graham Gano on for the extra point. He's got it to bring it back to 28-7 now. So that one along 11-play drive. And it was all capped off by the Van Jefferson touchdown reception. This fielded right at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated. There's no always working. 69 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. This offense, number one in the NFL in picking up first downs, and their run game got him another one there. A really good stat to lead the league in, isn't it? Because if you keep picking up first downs, sustaining drives, that means you're controlling the football, controlling the clock, and let your defense rest on the sidelines. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. Levante David in on the tackle. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. And a nice gain and a broken 
one tackle along the way, and really we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. They go play action here on first down. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Second down and eight. They'll set up to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Back to throw again. Man open, and St. Brown, he's got it. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 18. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Two yards the gain on the keeper at its second down. Back to throw here. This will be caught at about the six. And the Saints are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. It doesn't matter where on the field he is, even down here in the red zone, he is still slippery with the ball in his hands. And he was almost able to work his way into the end zone. Instead, they'll have to settle for first and goal, but they'll take it. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he's got it! Touchdown, Saints! A great play there! With his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Saints are able to add on to their first half lead. Charles, he's still a young single car in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked to his progress. weekend and Charles this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah they certainly are but let's face it partner they can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one they've got to take care of business first. First down Brissett right back to Chris Godwin and they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. From just shy of midfield, Brissett. But it's caught on the right side at Snell. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 38 yard line. Now Brissett. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They'll go up the middle with White. And good running, going to get this down close to a first at the Saints 29. Holding offense. So that time they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330-pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. Four-yard pickup. That gets him going forward, but still 15 yards left on third down. To throw, Brissett. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. 30, 10, 5, and he's into the end zone. A fumble return and a safe touchdown. Well, Charles, I mean, things just seem to be getting worse and worse for one sideline. And flip it over after that fumble return for a touchdown. Better and better on the opposite 
in. What an impressive first half performance. And partner, I know the saying in the NFL goes that no lead is safe. But I will say that this one seems pretty secure. And if we continue to see plays like that, I'm going to switch back and say this lead is safe. Lutz with the extra point. And the round is on here in this first half. Here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. And in just about every game we see, partner, what do we do when we look at the stat sheet? We go right to the turnover differential. Without a doubt, because when we see that, that pretty much tells the tale of the game. And I know there's still plenty of time to go, but you've got to take care of the football in order to win it. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Brissett. Toward the sideline, he will have the first down. Good catch. He was able to keep the feet inbounds. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Brissett. Across the formation, he finds Godwin. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. From the 45 on second down, Brissett toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet inbounds. Now, I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. To review the play, the ruling on the field stands. And in the air once more, it's Brissett. This pass complete to Melton. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Brissett to throw on first. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And just a yard to go here on second down. Brissan. And this is incomplete. Oh, they look like a sure six points. But he cannot get that to stick, and that is a golden opportunity wasted there. On third and one, here's Brissett. And in for the Buccaneers, touchdown. Van Jefferson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bucs get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Gano the extra point, and that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. So that one, an eight-play drive, it spans 75 yards. And it was all capped off by the Van Jefferson touchdown reception. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it'll be second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Let's go now. 
And this time, they'll just keep this on the ground. And not much happening there as he'll get it back to the line of scrimmage. And no... So it's halftime here in New Orleans with the Saints out in front. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you too in just a bit. But first, let's get everybody caught up with what's going on around the NFL here in week five. We'll get started up at FedEx Field in our nation's capital. And that one finds the Falcons out in front. Drake London, a touchdown reception. We'll stay in the NFC East as we head down to the great state of Texas to check on the Cowboys at home at AT&T Stadium. And that game all even as they host the visiting Philadelphia Eagles. Finally, let's get down to Miami to see what's going on with the Dolphins. And they've got the lead in that ball game over the visiting 49ers. Jalen Waddle, a touchdown reception. Moving on, let's take a look at the next-gen stats in the first half for Tampa Bay. And they've had plenty of success throwing the football so far this afternoon, as they're on pace to throw for over 300 yards if their form holds. Meanwhile, for the Saints, they weren't quite as successful throwing the ball as their counterparts were, but they still were able to move the ball reasonably well in that first half. Final adjustments being made for the second half. Whether they'll amount to much in a game that's already pretty well decided, well, that's another question. Nevertheless, let's get you back out to Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, thanks. Yeah, that's something to consider. Are we in for more one-way traffic here in the second half? It has not been a competitive game to this point. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Holding, receiving team. So holding will scratch off some of that return. And I know fans get frustrated when they see penalties of this sort on kick returns, but it is difficult to do it right against these moving targets at full speed. Hard to do. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw in coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Now back to throw. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Now he's hit on the return. It's a loose football. And the Saints are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. Well, do you want to unpack that one, or do you want me to? <laughs> You're the boss. <laughs> we get the interception, then really he's just too loose with the football on the return, and he coughs it right back up the other way. I've seen this happen in an NFL game, and boy, did it cost someone. San Francisco at Atlanta a few seasons ago. Atlanta throws the interception. San Francisco runs it back. Game is salted away. Fumbles on the return. Atlanta gets it back. Drives down, kicks the game winning field. How about that? And a crazy situation we just saw there. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. What a nice little game. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Now a whistle, and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he is going to have a Saints first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because if you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 
six yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. And this a second and seven from the 37. He'll look to throw. Got an open man. It's Pickens. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 26. 11 yards for number 11. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They're really locked in on offense. And he fights forward for a minus two-yard gain, second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. He'll look to throw. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. At this point, this offense feels like they could just roll out anything, and it would work. They are certainly in no hurry for this one to end. Now when they can rack up some stats and continue to add to their lead. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. First down screen pass, good for five. Ball sits on the 10, second and five. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Looking to throw. And it's caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. He'll drop to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. From three yards down. And the Saints take the opening kick off of the fourth quarter. That's good on the extra point, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So that amazingly, a 17-play drive, and it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. The first down throw for Brissett. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read. And by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Throwing again on second and ten. Reset. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing. Brissett. He's going to try and go deep again. And it's knocked away and incomplete. 
Here comes the Buccaneers punter now as he's on here to punt it away. It's taken to the 26. Gets around him. A good return there, 17 yards. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading on to the field again. He's had a touchdown for every quarter so far. Three here in the third and probably hoping he's not done yet. And this is a situation where it's okay to be greedy. When you've already scored three times, you want four, you want more than that. And guess what? That only helps your team. Yeah, so far three, now in search of four. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 113 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. On first down, he'll drop to throw. That's going to be caught by Pickens. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he'll get this just inside the 30-yard line. Now we're going to get a timeout. Appears we've got an injured Buccaneer. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. There they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And a nice run. They're going to take this close to the first down marker at the Bucks 23. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Hands it off out of the gun. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown. That 18-yard touchdown, Brown. And the Saints have taken a six-touchdown lead. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. Alonzo looked down the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. That time, a six-play drive, and it all culminates in the Saints' touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but... I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Here's second and seven now from the 28. set now this one brought in by Jefferson and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line Fournette a first down carry 
And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Brissett sets to throw it. It's caught Smith. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. On the draw, this is Fournette. Oh, nice move. And he's got room. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Now left side on the swing pass. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. From the 22, Brissett. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. to throw his percent. And he hauls it in for the Buccaneer. Cade. A five-yard touchdown. And the Buccaneers get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth-quarter deficit. Extra point try, good by Godot as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. Godot now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. 135 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Just enough push up front. He only needed about six inches. He didn't get a whole lot more than that. No, but he made sure he got enough so they didn't have to worry about measuring it or making it even close. Ends up picking up a couple of yards in a situation, as you noted, where he only needed inches. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. On second down, they'll run it here. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from blocking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs' 24-yard line. That gain on third down, good for 28. Partner, I know we're still in the afternoon slate here. Some primetime games still on the docket, but it's going to be tough to top this effort. What an offensive performance we have seen. They have been unstoppable from the moment we began this game, and they're not holding back. They're still throwing the football here in the fourth. They certainly are. Let me tell you something. If you're old school, you don't like this at all. But in today's football, 
You just go ahead and savor it. Watch a team execute at a high level. Doesn't matter what the scoreboard says. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. They're going to look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Saints are well on their way to a 5-0 start as they extend their lead. But definitely a good day's work throwing the football. Very good day's work. A four touchdown pass as they're really important. Yeah, so much getting that touchdown, right? Because you would think with the lead fourth quarter, they might... sharp analysis but I don't have much else for you and the scoreboard just lopsided and it's been ugly from the get-go and brought down but able to get it to their 30 yard line 12 yards there good for a Saints first down he's worked relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field in this case it really fits doesn't it how about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving Right back to him on first down. He'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field, but his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. On second down now, Wilkinson. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. with the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now it's the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Back now comes Tampa Bay. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one. They're probably not one that they want to chew on. A poor performance from start to finish. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And this will be caught at the 30. 
And they'll work this down inside the 30. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now Brissett. And this one complete to Smith. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Up the gut, Fournette. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. Second down and seven. Brissett. to the flat to White. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. And this offense on third down today, they're at 50%, four for eight. This time it's third and three. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. Open man has got one, it's complete. And the box are gonna have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Fournette will score. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Well, CD, they just haven't had a whole lot to cheer about or really grasp onto in this game. They've been dominated, but at least they get a late touchdown here, something positive to put on film for tomorrow's session. Yeah, they're still trying to execute, trying to get some positives on the board and, and ledger sheet and keep this from being a total loss. Give them credit. They're going down fighting. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Well, he thought about coming out, but instead he does go down to a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Saints offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but They've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate, but we'll see what they decide to do as they come out with this one. But the way this game is gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. Second down, Wilkinson. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Six now, first and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. Wilkinson, and not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Session. 
So for the home team here, their strong September has carried over to October as they move to 5-0. And, oh. and they'll have another home date next week as the Carolina Panthers come to town. Meanwhile, for the Bucs, they'll fall to 1-4 and four with a loss. And perhaps fortunately for them, they'll get an early bye next week and come back to action in Week 7.